this LED lighting setup on the train is a world first and it's certainly going to grab the imagination of the children and families so I would certainly recommend it. It's a really, really great experience. So one of our volunteers, Simon Horn, is a professional lighting designer and he saw some illuminations type events at other venues and thought, well, I can do something like that for, for my railway. Uh, and that was really where the idea started as a very small seed a bit over 12 months ago. Um, so we looked at other railways have done something like this in the past, or tried, tried to do similar things. Um, and we looked at some of the experience of that and other places and thought about what we could do that would be a little bit more spectacular, a little bit more um, illuminating. And, um, and really we went from there in building up a, building up a plan to do that. Um, the, each train consists of uh, five carriages plus a generator van which is providing the power and on that train there are something approaching 14,000, I haven't actually done an exact count yet, there's almost 14,000 LED lights on each train and there are two train sets, one operating from each end of the railway, so there's 28,000 lights in total just on the trains um, that we're running this during this uh, service. Is there, is there any section on the line where both trains come together at all? Yeah, on, on each trip both trains will pass each other uh, twice um, and uh, so you'll get to see the other train going past in the other direction or going past it in the other direction uh, on two occasions during the, each trip. Behind the scenes, if you count up all the people that have been involved in rigging the train, putting the generator cars together, putting seat back screens to divide up the train into, into individual bays to keep people safe. Um, you take all that into account, there's probably been a team of about 50 working on this. Why is it that you ended up doing this? <laughs> uh, well, I've, I've been a volunteer here on, on the footplate of the engines for about five, six years. Um, and about a year and a half ago, one of the management team kind of put two and two together and went, you do lights for a living, we'd like to do a train covered in lights, can you do it? And I'm like, absolute pleasure. So yeah, we sat down about a year ago and kind of came up with some ideas and um, I put a design together and then early this year it, I started really kind of working out how to do it. Um, so the, the idea itself is fairly easy, working out how to attach all these LEDs to something that moves at 25 mile an hour and gets very hot in the positions was uh, a bit of a challenge. <laughs> What sort of equipment have you got sort of controlling all this and you know sort of... so at the heart of it uh, is a standard lighting console that you see on ever any arena or stadium show mm -hmm. um, it's actually made in Southampton um, mm -hmm. it's one of the big four players of that um, and that distributes via a network system to a number of control boxes so mm -hmm. control box per two coaches and one of the locomotive that is completely custom. I've had to build and assemble that myself. There's just, just nothing that would drive this amount uh, and deal with all the problems you have over this long distances. Um, so, do you see this as a as a new enterprise for you? Or perhaps I, I a mean, new direction. I, I, literally I, a new direction. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, go in, you know. I've I've got a product now. It's, yeah. it's taken four months design to work it out, but it's something that I could I'd like to roll out. I think elsewhere. Mm -hmm. 